Hi, welcome back to Erica's Little Welsh Garden. Today is Wednesday the 30th of January and I was planning on coming out this morning and working on my pumpkin patch again for a couple of hours but this morning, first thing, it was about minus three and it's absolutely freezing out here. I've just cleaned the chickens out and I can hardly kind of feel my feet nor can I feel my hands very well. Also, with regards to the pumpkin patch, last time I was digging it, I... Um, Dug up, dug up a toad that was hibernating and keeping warm on that cold day and I don't really want to go displacing any more wildlife if I can help it today because everything is probably hunkered down and just trying to keep warm and keep alive so I'm not going to be working on that area but I popped out to the shops this morning and I've got something really exciting I've wanted this for absolutely ages and I've kind of just always left them in the shops and I've seen them but I will show you now And this is what I picked up, a deluxe bird feeding station. Now I've wanted one of these for absolutely ages, but in the past I've just hung up the bird feeders in the trees and things like that. But this year I really want to get a bird feeding station out the front of the house, so when I'm in the living room I can kind of watch the birds coming and going really. So yeah, very excited with this. I hope you can see it because it's really bright out here and I can't see the screen. But I'm going to take you out the front now and we will build this. So as I walk down to the front of the house, you can see that that is the remainder of the snow. I don't know how that compares with the amount of snow you've had. Um, over in, um, I can see in the mountains, there are some really lovely white peaks. So it has snowed quite a lot, but luckily down here it's not stuck or anything. However, all of the solar panels are completely covered in snow, so it can't catch this glorious sunlight. Anyway, let's walk down to the front of the house and get this bird feeding station set up. Okay, so I've just opened the box now, um, and there is another box inside. Ooh. Sorry, this probably isn't very interesting, me opening a box. Alright, let's have a look. I did realise it would actually come with the bird feeders inside. I just assumed you'd need to buy these. So that one's for peanuts. And this one's for fat balls. A lovely little water bowl. And one for mealworms. There is instructions, but who reads the instructions? And there's one for um, small seeds and things there as well. I'm pretty happy with that actually. I just assumed I'd need to use the ones that I already have. Sorry, this is probably really boring, and if it is, please fast forward while I make it. Okay, so this is pretty easy. That is obviously the one that you put into the ground. Okay, easy so far. All right, let's have a look. Okay, I'm assuming this bit is for the actual top, but uh, let's have a look. Okay. 
well I'm assuming that goes in there but it's not going in there very easily so I have to work that out um, and then these attach on somehow but do you know what I'm actually gonna look at the instructions okay so after a quick read of the instructions I've worked out how you put the um, the different kind of hooks on so I'll just push this into the ground now look at that beautiful blue sky behind it's absolutely beautiful it's just really really cold out here okay, so where I just had it um, kind of slightly over this way it wasn't able to kind of go into the ground enough so I'm just going to push this now into the ground a bit more and have it a little bit to the side you should probably use a mallet but I don't have one so I'm just using a brick and I have to apologise about my beautiful electricity um, cables behind When you live really high up, unfortunately, you share your skyline with electricity um, cables. Anyway, I'm really happy with this now, and we are up. And so now I can just attach the different pieces. which looked really easy on the instructions and I just did it and now I'm not going to be able to do it in front of you. Ta-da! That one is up. So I just need to push it round it there. And there you have it. So I've just put the two shelves a little bit lower. So I will move the camera so you can have a look. Okay, so I've got all of my bird feeders um, stacked up with food now, ready to put on. I really love the lighting there. So I'm just going to be using fat balls because that's all I have at the moment. But that's the main thing that the birds need at this time of year. They just need lots of fat and calories to keep them going through the night. And I've got some mealworms here, left over from last year, so I'll just put those in. I'm only going to put a few in though, because this is a really new bird feeder, so it's going to take them time to find it. And I'm going to give them some lovely fresh water as well. And if you are going to be feeding your birds, it's really important that you change their water as often as you can. Um, especially with such a small dish like this, it's going to be frozen by the morning. And while I'm out here at the moment, I just want to say, um, if you have any of these um, fat balls that come in the packaging like this, sorry, you probably can't see very well, it's really important that you take them out of the packaging. Little birds like little tits and stuff get their feet caught in these, and unless you check on them every single day, unfortunately, some can actually die. So don't use these. Anyway, I'm really happy with that now. Um, I haven't filled these up all the way to the top because it's going to take the birds a couple of days to find it. But I am hoping that um, by later on this afternoon, we'll be able to have a look out the window and see some wildlife here. So, yeah, I'm very excited with this. Okay, so I have just... Um, finished putting the stuff away and I've come out to pick up my camera which is on the tripod just in this spot and there is a robin on the top of this bird feeder which is literally just there that's so exciting I am going to get a cup of tea now and do some bird watching 
If you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed watching this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of all of my latest videos. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!